Hello YouTube, welcome back to the kitchen. Thanks for joining me today. About to make myself some breakfast and I thought I would bring you along. I think I've shared uh, making an acai bowl on here before, but I thought I would do it again because these things are popular, but if you ever look at the prices on them when you're out and about, they're expensive. And I've actually, like, I see them routinely for $10 and when they're $10, they're little small things anyway. So. I prefer to get my money's worth and make them myself. So, got my trusty uh, Black & Decker food processor out. I got my frozen bananas already in here, so I could, wouldn't take up time putting them in there. And then I've got a little packet of uh, frozen acai. These are unsweetened. I get them at uh, my local Publix. I'm sure you can get them where you are. And I just add that in. Now my trick is with the bananas and anything frozen is I take it out of the freezer, it's hard as a rock, and I let it sit just for a few minutes. You don't even necessarily feel the softness to it, but it takes the edge off a little bit. And then you blend away. All right, that came out nice. I hadn't had this in a while. I bought, um, I bought these packets the other day. I think it was Monday, Monday or Tuesday. I think it had been a few months since I'd made an acai bowl and I was like, why have I waited so long to have another one? All right, so first I just kind of put my, put it in my bowl like that. And hey, you could, you know, you could just eat this. One of these days I'm going to do that. I've never done it without putting toppings on there, just eating the acai bowl, because it tastes good. Makes me wonder why they have a sweetened version. It's not really necessary. Next, got some uh, fresh cut mango. I think the mango is going to go away here soon. Because the price was up a little bit the other day. Then I got some frozen blueberries. Those frozen blueberries, all blueberries, so good for you. I like to try to get those in quite regularly. <clears throat> and then got some chopped walnuts. I like to mix it up. I don't always use walnuts. Sometimes I use, actually what I like to use is uh, pumpkin seeds. But I'm out of pumpkin seeds right now, which means I need to go get some. But anyway, that's how you do it. I mean, seriously, that's, that's twice the size of an acai in a restaurant, and it's probably half the price that it costs you to buy there. So, yeah, just think about more things you can make at home, and there's no that wasn't fancy equipment. Like I said, that's a $35 uh, Black & Decker food processor. In fact, you can do so much stuff with that little food processor. The expensive equipment's just not necessary. But anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, be sure you're subscribed to the channel for uh, more videos like this. And I'll see you here soon. Peace.